I wanted to go over our new enhancement to our mill turn package and that's uh, the ability to use uh, right angle heads and flex flex heads um, in the mill turn product um, so to get started we will um, need to bring in a, a model of our flex head or right angle head that we're trying to define and add to our our GMD file of our Mastercam mill turn um, machine. So to bring to do that, we need to bring in our model and a little bit of housekeeping that we need to do first is to bring the model in and we want it to be uh, where the model interfaces to our turret that's where our origin in Mastercam needs to be on our model. Um, so you can see that I've got that all set up here. And it's important that for an upper turret that we have the, the tool locator pointed in the Y negative direction of the Mastercam in the system view. Right? Um, it'll, it'll orient everything correctly for use for our machine when we do that. Um, you can see in here that I've got another model that's pointed in the Y positive direction that I will be using for, uh, let's say, a lower turret. Um, so I, that's that'll get our models all ready to use. Um, when we open uh, and we're programming in our part file, uh, you will always have your code expert that will open up inside your master cam when you first load it. And we need to be on that page here. And down here you'll find your GMD file for our general machine definition. And this is where we want to do uh, edit to add this. So you'll double click this file here and it will open up in a new session of master cam so give that a second this is where we're going to add any custom lathe chucks uh, lathe tool locators other milling tool locators any components that we want to add to our machine this is where we're going to do it call it chucks anything like that it's going to open up into uh, the machine definition, but uh, for what we need to start with, we can close this down. Um, you'll see that I have uh, my levels manager is open, and this is where you're going to find models for any component that's inside of your GMD file. So I need to merge in the models from from my uh, tool locator that I've got here and we'll do the the locator file we'll hit open and we'll just let it merge it in on the levels that I've assigned it inside when I was doing my housekeeping on my model and green check it and you'll see that it added an upper flex head and a lower head in the levels that I've got there now that we've got that there, we'll come back up to machine and we'll open up the machine definition and we'll expand our upper tool group and find our upper turret and we'll right click on it and we'll hit add component and we'll pick a milling tool locator. Um, we can give it a name. Uh, we'll do that in a second so that I can explain the naming convention that I would use. Uh, we'll come down here to our model and we're going to select that model from our graphics screen and then we're going to hit the icon here to add a barrel and we'll pick the model for our barrel and now it's important that we add the center of rotation so that the barrel pivots correctly and we'll do a little target here and we'll come out here and find something that um, center of rotation will be right there and we will define any min max angles limits that we need maybe it will only orient in full degree increments um, 
If it's able to lock in at any angle, we can just leave that default there. Uh, the other thing that we need to do is come to our station. And this is where we would like to we either, if it's only able to be used at zero or only used at 90 or 45, we can di dictate that angle here. Um, but if it's able to be oriented in any direction, uh, the from operation is a really convenient way because then it pulls the angle from the tool path that we create to use the flex head so that we don't have to come in here and define a whole bunch of these things. Um, and the tool, uh, tool position, this is where the tool mounts to the flex head. Um, and for this, where I've got the model of the ER collet in here, we actually need to pick the backside of that collet because where I, where I pick this is where the tool holder that's in the holder page is going to get mounted to. And so I actually want to pick the backside of this part right here. Um, and so that's that 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 it comes in correctly we can adjust the projection if you didn't do something just quite right um, but now because i picked from operation i'm going to come back up here to the name name here and i'm going to say upper turret so and then i'm going to call it milling flex head from op. That way then I know it's from the op. Maybe I've got some that are right angle only or anything like that. And we can uh, green check that. And it's going to add it to the end of the list for us to use down here. And we're going to hit save to save our machine definition GMD file. Now what we're going to want to do is come back to our code expert and you'll see that in our file here that we've got an asterisk on our GMD file and that is meaning that something has changed in our GMD file but we haven't saved it back to our dot machine file so our actual machine and this is the step that a lot of people miss when they're defining chucks, collets, steady rests any anything that you want to add to the GMD file, a lot of people miss this step. Uh, so make sure that you've got that selected and then hit the save icon up here and then you'll see that asterisk goes away. Um, so now we can come back over here to our part file. And we can I'll go ahead and start our tool path for our angle here that we want to cut this uh, this angle here instead of doing like a chamfer mill or something like that. So I'm going to do a uh, milling and then face and I'm going to pick that uh, face surface there and green check. We're going to come to our tool. I've got a quarter inch end mill in here and you'll notice over here on our icon that it's just a straight bit and we want to right click here and we want to say get angle head it's going to take me into our tool setup manager and we'll expand out our upper turret and we're going to add the tool locator that we've added in here and we're going to drop that on tool number seven because that's the tool number that i've picked out and then we'll take our quarter inch flat end melt and we'll drop that on our flex head and we can green check that and now the icon will have switched over to the little right angle head icon indicating that it is a, a flex head uh, down in here our holder uh, I do want to um, let's see I want to Let's see, I want to go to, I want to show you one thing real quick here. Uh, when I view the component and the children, you'll see that that uh, the holder is just 
it's huge, right? And so that's kind of why I leave the model of the, the cap of the ER in there so that I can remember to get that edited to where it works for what I need to do. Um, so we'll go out of here and we'll come down to our holder page and we're going to edit edit our holder and we'll change this to be like 750 by let's go with like point three and we'll go with uh, 750 and we'll say finish and we'll come back up here and we'll say to load tool on machine and we'll go check our work and see if that looks any better so now you can kind of see that the the holder is down inside it's embedded inside of the model of my flex head and that's what i kind of want to see there um, so we'll press ok and we're happy with that uh, so we'll come down to our setup and you'll notice that if I have like a tool, let's say that straight bit tool, and I come to my setup page, that this this uh, option is gone here. And when I have the flex head, that I get uh, the plane rotation option. So I'll pick that. I'm going to say derive from geometry because that's what's going to pick up that angle. And our cut parameters will do uh, one way, one pass and that would cut it like this direction so i want it to do the length wise so i'm going to rotate that 90 degrees and we'll leave nothing on our stock and it should be good so there's my base tool path we'll go ahead and transform that around to the other sides And we'll go five more times at 60 degrees and we'll green check that. So now I'm getting the other the other side so I can see that it does all the cuts that I need. And if we wanted to see what we got going on, kick this out to the IOF and run our simulation. So we'll launch our simulation. take the housing off so we can see what we've got going on and you can see our little flex head and it's come in with the angle that we want over here on our turret and so we can hit play you know we can come in and watch our tool pass fill our holes and then do our little flick single head cuts and so far, so good. Um, I hope you enjoyed this. And again, thank you for coming out to our event. And have a good day.